And Scherzer after a long first inning now is a nine pitch at bat going with Stott. And he pulls one over the bag. That's a fair ball going down the line and off the sidewall. It caroms out to Marte. Stott trying for second. Marte's throw and he got him. Mm. Starling Marte guns down Bryson Stott trying to stretch a single into a double. Look how quick he got rid of it. A one hop right to Lindor. That's why Buck Showalter wanted Marte in right field for that arm. And Marte makes it pay off. Aguilar bloops one into shallow right center. That'll fall for a hit. Cooper's going to try for third. Marte's throw. And Cooper slides in. He's out. Escobar went to get it up the line and came back to put the tag on Cooper. And that's a big second out as Marte guns down Cooper at third. What a wonderful throw. Accurate. One hop. Doesn't overthrow the cutoff, man. I can't not blame Cooper for trying to stretch it out. You know, it's interesting. In last night's game, Chisholm went from first to third. He didn't have a play, Escobar, at third base. This is a very similar throw, but with Cooper, he was able to catch it and then get the tag over in time. I'm wondering if the third base toll coach was telling him to be more. Get over yeah. to the other side. Use two hands. Be more uh, adamant. A little looper into shallow right. On comes Marte. Slides and he makes the catch. Nice play by Marte. Excellent base running by the Padres to not get doubled up. And Alfaro's retired on a terrific play by Marte, who closed ground in a hurry. Oh, he got a great jump on this. I like the way he threw the ball from the seat of his pants. I mean, he, got, he just got a terrific jump. Higashioka, right center field and shallow. Nimmo coming, so is Marte. Marte slides and makes a nice play. I think Nimmo got a great read on that. Marte charged from right field to make the play. And I wonder if Nimmo had lost the baseball once he went towards it because it just seemed like he was going to be the one that's, that was going to catch this. Comes in, he gives up, he looks over to Marte. And Marte just turned it on with the afterburners. Marte, a center fielder, playing right field for the Mets. Tremendous range. Ruiz hooks one on the ground, past Alonzo, and down the line. And the Nats have their first hit. Ruiz will try for two. The throw by Marte to second, and he's going to be out. Perfect throw by Starling Marte to gun down Ruiz. Two men down. You just can't do it any better than Starling Marte did getting to the line taking his time and throwing a strike. Double down the line it looked like didn't it but he cut it off. Didn't rush the throw. And done it in fairly efficient fashion trying to give the Mets as much length as he can. Harris though, drives one to the right center for a base hit. Chased down in the gap by Marte. Harris is going to try for two. Marte with the throw to second, and Harris is out. Mm. Well, Harris has already thrown out a minute at the plate tonight. This time, Marte returns the favor, gunning down Harris at second base. And the Braves are going to challenge the call. To see the tag, that's where it's going to be at here. Strong throw by Marte, right? A little bit off the bag. I think he got him. Went for the arm. Did he get the arm? Uh, no. Oh, he might have gotten the hand he before got he tagged the elbow. He got in. Let's see. The door tags him on the elbow. Does the hand get there before the tag? That's a tough angle right you there. Can't tell from there. Because the left hand didn't get there. It was going to be the right hand. As Buck Showalter say, don't chase the runner. Keep the bat tag on in front of the bag. Maybe a better look here. Oh, did the glove? Uh, it's hard to tell. Yeah, hard the fact that the first shot we had was the best. After review, the call stands. The runner's out. Atlanta will lose the challenge. One out, and Riley pokes one to right. Moving back is Marte, and it mm. makes the reaching catch. He's close to the wall, too, so he's fearless there. That's a heck of a play right there. Like that ball took off on him a little more than he expected. 2-1 from May. 
And his slider hit out to right center field. Back in the gap goes Marte, and he makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Acuna gave it a ride. Marte ran it down. Trevor May hangs on, and the Mets in Brett Beatty's big league debut win a wild one, 9-7. to seven. And Grisham hits this one hard, going over Marte, and he runs it down. What a play by starting Marte in right field to track that line shot. 102.5 miles per hour off Grisham's bat. Just the launch wasn't enough. I mean, you have the speed of a center fielder playing right like Starling Marte.